Hey guys, this is Brian from Make Room Any Line Media. You've probably been so into a game that you've gotten lost playing it. Contrary to what many non-gamers assume, this doesn't mean that you zoned out. When a player is deeply engaged, she may indeed be unaware of the outside world and lose her sense of the passage of time, but it's not because she's vegging out. Rather, she is intensely focused on the task at hand. Psychologists refer to this condition as a flow state, or simply flow. Research has shown that not only are flow states among the most pleasurable conditions people experience, but that a person in a flow state comes closest to achieving his maximum productivity and potential for learning. Nowadays, flow is an important topic in game design. Designers think about how to optimize their game experiences to get players into and to maintain a flow state. It turns out that flow in games is intimately related to issues of skill, difficulty, and balance. You've probably had moments playing games where what you were being asked to do was way too easy for you, causing you to get bored. At other times, you've probably had moments where what you were being asked to do was so difficult that you experienced anxiety. Both of these conditions represent a failure to achieve a flow state, which exists somewhere in between. It's the state where you feel things aren't so easy that the game is boring, but not so difficult that it totally stresses you out. As you play through a game, your skill level increases. What once may have been difficult eventually becomes easy. As a result, the difficulty level of the game must increase over time, a concept designers refer to as progressive difficulty, in order to always keep a given player in a state of flow. If the player's skill increases more rapidly than the game's difficulty, she will eventually become bored, breaking her flow. If the game's difficulty increases more rapidly than her skill, she will eventually become anxious, which also breaks her flow. This means that to maintain flow, each challenge must be just a little outside the player's comfort zone. Psychologists refer to this approach as keeping the player in the zone of optimal performance. Because research has shown that people's performance is maximized when they are challenged in a way that keeps them inside this zone. Thank you.